you ask a mathematician what they're doing, they'll say, I'm playing. If you ask a scientist what they're doing, they'll say, I'm playing. And most kids in school would take math and science could not imagine what that might mean. Certainly, what's well, one of the functions of entertainment, I think, is education. Music has a powerful effect on everybody, with children, adults, animals, plants, everything. The digital revolution has given us the ability to break each picture down into pixels, and each pixel is addressable. And so consequently, we've gone from being blacksmiths to neurosurgeons. The pneumatic computing is basically laying the intelligence out at the edge of the network to adapt to whatever needs come in in the form of people or devices. With Yozono, that's our trademark name for this wave field synthesis, you can really have the bullets flying through the room uh, or the ghosts whispering into your ears. THX, that's Tom Holman's crossover originally. And, oh, that's George's first movie. We can recognize both Tom and George with one thing. I'm, I'm hoping that with The Incredibles now, people are starting to realize that animation isn't a genre itself. It's simply a way of making a film that can apply to any storytelling. And with Xbox 360 and also PlayStation 3, the real measure of success is, is always going to be, you know, who is enabling the, the best talent to make the best games, and that's going to dictate the, the commercial success. And that has to do with technology. Is that technology right for artists to use? Is, is it easy for them to use? It has to do with business. We immediately form ideas of what is stable and what is not, and this is because of a system that's uh, called tonality in music, um, of the interrelations between the pitches as we hear them in relation one to another. The American Film Institute is a national organization that provides leadership in screen education and celebrates excellence in film, television, and digital media. The $100 laptop idea is the result of about 25 years of activity in terms of understanding how children learn, mm -hmm. using computers in early stages of education, and then two experiments that have happened over the past five years of putting one laptop per child. It's one thing to have an animal look real and be real, but if you don't care about them, it, it doesn't help you, <laughs> it doesn't help the story, and it doesn't help the movie. I think that's why Narnia has been such a big success, is because not, you know, the kids are wonderful, and the kids interact with these creatures like I've never seen before in terms of human and CG character interaction. It's just amazing. So mixed reality entertainment is attempting to take the computer game world and make it part of our physical environment so that you're not just playing with the virtual world, but you're, you're playing in the physical world as well and interacting with other people, your friends or family. This business of making people think long term that's, that's really something that's missing in the world in general, and we should start a foundation that does the clock projects and other projects for, um, for basically stretching out people's sense of, of the moment that they care about, which is now. And so that's why we call it the Long Now Foundation. It was actually Brian Eno's suggestion that we want to stretch out the moment of now to include the next 10,000 years. What my foundation does is show them the best practices of the way schools are using their computers to enhance the learning process. 